Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Just in, Karma just pounded on Maxine's front door, trapped inside begging for help. Karma just pounded on Maxine Waters' front door big time. I would not be surprised to hear she is trapped inside and begging for help. She just had a little of her own medicine force fed to her. I'm not big on any kind of harassment or intimidation, but I had to smile over this one. Conservative protesters showed up at Maxine Waters' house in D.C. to voice concern over her violent rhetoric. The protesters seemed to be praying for Waters' soul. Good luck with that. This happened two days before President Trump admonished Waters to be careful what you wish for. Truer words have never been spoken. She called for everyone in the Trump administration to be harassed no matter where they go. Now, the tables have turned. The group congregated around Waters' home to give her a taste of her own pro-harassment medicine. And it is bitter. The president tweeted last Monday after Waters' disgraceful behavior over the weekend, Congresswoman Maxine Waters, an extraordinarily low IQ person, has become, together with Nancy Pelosi, the face of the Democrat Party. She has just called for harm to supporters, of which there are many, of the Make America Great Again movement. Be careful what you wish for Max. Ouch. Wonder if she has sense enough to regret her actions. Probably not. It does not surprise me in the least that Trump supporters wanted Waters to experience a little bit of what she was calling for. You can't blame them for that. No one should harass others, but you shouldn't just take it lying down either when it comes your way. This happened less than a week after White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders and seven members of her family were kicked out of a Red Hen restaurant in Lexington, Virginia, by the owner. Said owner then proceeded to follow Sanders' in-laws to another restaurant and call in a mob to harass them while eating. Downtrend also pointed out, Homeland Secretary Kirsten Nielsen was driven out of a restaurant near the White House by angry liberal protesters and Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi was driven out of film screening for Won't You Be My Neighbor? by unhinged leftist protesters. And although I don't condone doing this to others, Maxine Waters has been calling for violence since the 1970s. She is a racist and rejoiced with those that almost beat Rodney King to death in the Los Angeles riots in 1992. She has been a non-stop clarion call to impeach President Trump since the day he took office and now she is promoting violence against the right. Conservative politicians and even some on the left are calling for her to be censured by Congress and for her to resign over this. Her chickens are finally coming home to roost. I hope. Now, Waters has cancelled her Birmingham trip due to security concerns. She was scheduled to speak Friday at an annual conference for black female politicians, local officials and community leaders. She's afraid for her safety. Tell me Maxine. How does it feel to go through what you are putting others through? No sympathy here. None at all. Waters was supposed to address an audience of black women for the National Organization of Black Elected Legislative, Nobel, Women's Annual Legislative Conference, which starts today and ends Sunday. But Nobel President Karen Camper, a state representative from Tennessee, confirmed that Waters was no longer coming because of security reasons. Details about the safety concerns have not been released and it's not known if a specific threat was made. She may be playing the victim here, but oh well. Waters' original remarks to a crowd at a toy drive in Los Angeles started all of this, let's make sure we show up wherever we have to show up, Waters said during the rally. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. We've got to get the children connected to their parents. Waters has since doubled down, I have no sympathy for these people that are in this administration who know it's wrong for what they're doing on so many fronts, and then of course she blamed President Trump for all of this. Multiple lawmakers, such as House Majority Kevin McCarthy, have asked Waters to apologize for her statements. We have to have civility, McCarthy told Fox News during an interview on Monday. I can disagree with somebody philosophically, but to personally attack, to remove somebody and not serve them? What's interesting to me, the people who claim tolerance seem to be the most intolerant in this process. Waters has not apologized, in fact, she has doubled down on her statements. So much for civility. All of this is hyped up and ridiculous. Even leftist Politi Fact is saying, no. A Trump supporter did not threaten to harm Maxine Waters. None of this leads anywhere good and mobocracy is ruling the streets these days. It's not safe to be a Trump supporter in public anymore. And Waters wonders why she is targeted. When you deal in hate and violence, expect the same. It's the inverse of the golden rule. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like.
and subscribe. Thank you.